Well, tonight's town hall format gives the voter a voice. So what issues do they really care about? And who has the upper hand? Well, joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, political editor at Bustle.com, Emily Shire and Fox News contributor Guy Benson. Thanks so much for being with us, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. So, Emily, I'm going to start with you. Both campaigns say their candidate is better suited for this town hall format. So, Emily, cut through the spin for me. Which candidate really has the edge here? Uh, Hillary Clinton, though that may be more by dint of the recent scandal hitting Donald Trump. He needs to do damage control. In fact, damage control is really an understatement for what he needs to do at this debate. He is being dumped by the most respected people in his party, and he really needs to prove to voters why they should trust him, why they deserve his vote. When you know, John McCain and Jason Chaffetz are saying they're not willing to back him, and that's going to be a tough thing for him to answer tonight. Guy, who do you think? Which candidate has uh, the edge in terms of this format? Well, if you take and put off to the side this whole scandal, which I understand is very difficult to do. I think that Donald Trump is probably better suited for a town hall type format than he was for the one-on-one, -on -one, two podiums, very formal for 90 minutes. I think he'll feed off of a crowd a little bit more interacting with voters. So I think that probably helps him stylistically. But again, with the huge dark cloud hanging over his campaign right now, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure the format is necessarily going to help him. He needs a plan of attack. He needs a plan to dig himself a bit out of the hole that he's created, and I think all eyes will be on him tonight. So tonight's format, the way it's going to work is half of the questions are going to be asked by voters in the room, and these are about 40 voters that were picked by Gallup, and Gallup says that they were screened and selected and that they're uncommitted voters. But I imagine it at this stage in the race, it's probably hard to find uncommitted voters. Uh, what do you all think? Emily? You know... You know, I think a lot of people actually still are on the fence, and many people are considering third parties, and those are generally considered persuadable people. So I do think there are those who are on the fence, but unfortunately, the recent scandal for Donald Trump may have swung a lot of people over to Clinton's camp, particularly Sanders supporters who are on the side and willing to cast a, what one would call a protest vote. I think this has really confirmed a lot of fears and disgust of Donald Trump, and now they may be voting for Hillary Clinton. And Guy, you know, of course Trump is going to be under so much scrutiny given these recent hot mic leaks and whatnot, but he does do very well on some of the issues that matter most with voters, money, education, security, right? Yeah, so Trump's, of course, going to have to address the personal stuff and the character stuff. That is front and center in this campaign. But I do think that there are, maybe I'm naive, but I do think that there are lots of voters who are starved for actual policy discussions and Trump is not necessarily a details guy but everything happening with Obamacare he can take advantage of that the comments from Hillary Clinton that have been leaked where she was talking about open borders open trade that goes directly against the type of rhetoric that she uh, espoused during the primary and could be anathema for many voters so there are some big openings for Trump if he's able to talk about policy as opposed to the Donald Trump show 24 7 which it's been really for the last two weeks since the last debate but Emily, I mean, Clinton has a scandal of her own, uh, this new WikiLeaks dump, and she hasn't addressed it since all of these new documents came out. How do you think she should respond tonight? You know, I think you know, they haven't been authenticated yet is one of the things, and I think she will address them, but the problem for Donald Trump is that this WikiLeaks scandal just proves what voters already know about her, that she is deceptive, that she doesn't have the most honest record, and they've already accepted that. Uh, I don't think this is throwing a lot of new material for Clinton to have to deal with compared to what Trump's dealing with. So I do think it will come up, but not in a big way. Well, we'll find out tonight, just a few hours away. Uh, thanks so much, Emily and Guy. We'll be watching. I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you.